So I've scoured the web to try to find an itty tiny tutorial. I found a bunch of good ones, but I had to cross-reference a bunch of them in order to figure out the proper steps in order to be able to make a shield and then upload code to the itty tiny chip itself. So here I'm going to try to condense all the material down into one solid video that explains how to do everything from the ground up. So this is the AT Tiny that I ordered from DigiKey. You can see here that our cost uh, 124. Um, by default, I think it's PUND. I don't know what that means. So I just got the 20 PU. Um, this is the exact chip that I got. Uh, so I'm just telling you where to get it from and how where the cheapest place to get it from is if you want to get the exact same chip that I got. So you can follow along exactly how I did this. So I'm building this at the makerspace called Sandbox. It's in College Park at the University of Maryland. It has really nice soldering irons and materials and gadgets to use in order to make and prototype stuff. I got these uh, perf boards, which are double-sided, which is amazing for especially making the shield because that comes in handy time and time again. And they're really high quality, so you won't end up with uh, cold solder joints. I highly recommend them. They're the ones that are seven by three centimeters on Amazon. If you look them up, you'll find them immediately. So as you can see here, I'm just soldering this eight pin chip socket to the middle of the perf board. Uh, just put it through the holes and then soldering it on the bottom solder pads. And then here, you can see that we only care about the power pins of the Arduino and then the digital pins eight uh, up to 13. So as you can see, the pins that are above 13 interfere with the perf board itself. So we need to make sure to clip those off. So we just take out the header pins snip off the last three and then put it back in and you'll see it fits perfectly fine now. So now we're just going to solder those uh, male header pins aligned with the perf board itself while it's in the Arduino so we know it's in the correct location and then that's the basis for our shield. Okay, so now we're going to get into the circuit schematic itself. I made this drawing in Fritzing to show exactly what pins you need to connect to the AT Tiny itself. So we see here that pin 1 connects to pin 10 on the Arduino, uh, pin 1 on the AT Tiny. Pin uh, 4 connects to ground, um, pin 5 connects to 11, 6 goes to 12, 7 goes to 13, and then 8 goes to 5 volts. It's important to note here that we have a capacitor that's 10 microfarads going between the reset pin and ground pin. Um, and that's basically all we need. We just need these six connections and the capacitor, and that's it. Uh, so pause, freeze, fr freeze frame this, whatever, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. This is the best drawing I can make of exactly what you need to do, and it's probably the guide you're gonna keep referring back to whenever you're soldering your own shield. Okay, so this is a little bit of a convoluted method, but this is the method that I found to work best, and this is why we need a double-sided perf board uh, with solder pads. So we strip some wire, insert it into the next to the pin that we need to solder to on the 8-pin chip socket. And then what we're going to do first is, just to hold it in place, solder the top side of it. Just put a little dollop of solder just to hold it in place, right? And then on the bottom side, we're going to connect the rest of the wire that we stripped off in before to the pin that we need to connect to on the 8-pin socket. Then I'm going to mark on the perf board which pin I need to solder to in order to connect to pin 13 on the Arduino side. Then we need to strip the wire again, put it through the hole that's correlated with that pin that we just marked, turn it over, and then solder that to that male header pin that connects to the Arduino. Okay, so now that you saw me finish one wire, we're gonna do the second one. It's gonna be connecting to pin 12 instead of pin 13. So we're just going to go through the same exact process that we did before. Um, I'll just shut up so you can just watch exactly what I did. So you can get an intuition to how to do this yourself if you want to make this shield exactly how I did.
So here we're just doing the ground wire now. You can see that I did the four wires uh, for communication to 13, 12, 11, and 10 in white and power in red. And now we're just attaching the last one. I'm just doing green for ground, exactly the same way as we did before. Connecting it through the hole, putting it all up for solder, and then connecting it. So here we're attaching the capacitor uh, from the reset pin to ground pin. It's important to note that we connect the longer lead of the capacitor to the reset side because that's a positive side, and then the shorter lead to the ground side. So we can easily determine uh, from looking at the Arduino that the reset pin is four pins away from ground. So on the perf board, we just go four pins up from ground and then solder the two pins together and then solder ground together and voila, we have it done. Now we're just attaching the final piece to it, the chip itself, the AT Tiny, into the eight pin chip socket and then we're done. Now we need to just program it. All right, so first open your Arduino IDE. You'll have a random sketch open. And what we need to do first is download the proper boards for the AT20. So we're going to go to preferences and add additional boards uh, to this URL here. So go to Chrome, type in, uh, oops, type in Arduino um, board URLs. And then you'll see the unofficial list of third party board support. Go here. So this has all your various boards you can just download through the Arduino board manager itself. We're looking specifically for the AT Tiny ones. So we'll go to here, copy this link, and paste it in here, and then click OK. So now we can go to Tools, um, go to Board, and then Board Manager, and we'll type in AT Tiny and we'll see this thing come up. So I've already installed it, but if you haven't, you'll see a little install button here. Click it, and then close out of here. So now, as you can see here, I have the option for AT Tinies. Uh, at the bottom right here, I already have it chosen, but for right now, we're gonna be programming an Arduino normally. Uh, so in order to make an Arduino um, be able to upload code to the AT Tiny itself, we need to upload specific code to it to make it a programmer itself. So that's already provided by the Arduino IDE itself. Go to examples, go to Arduino ISP, and click on that. You see this here. Don't really worry about the code itself because it's too complicated pretty much to understand. You don't really need to care about it anyway. Um, all you need to do now is just plug in your Arduino. So let me just do that here right now. Right, and then it pops up as an Arduino Uno for COM8 and then just make sure your programmer is set to Arduino as ISP and there we go and then we just click upload you should upload to the board fine make sure that your shield that we just made is not plugged into the board right now because the capacitor is connecting the reset pin to ground and that screws up uploading code to it so just make sure that nothing is plugged into the Arduino right now it's totally barren, just plug in the USB cable, upload to it, should be exactly fine. So now that we uploaded to it properly, we want to just say upload the blink sketch. So just open up that, and by default it's going to have LED built in as the pin that we're adding to, which is pin 13 on an Arduino. You don't have pin 13 on there or LED built in, so we're just going to make this zero, go down here, make all of these zero. We're, so we're just gonna program pin zero to digital right high, digital right low, and hook up a LED ourselves to it with a 1K resistor so it doesn't blow up. And that should work fine. So now we're gonna do is plug in the shield into Arduino. Make sure you orient it correctly. I've done, I've oriented it wrong before and that's caused a lot of issues. Um, so just orient it correctly, plug it in, and make sure you have the chip itself plugged into the um, shield that you're using, right? If, if the chip itself is not plugged in, then your code will not compile, or will not upload properly. Um, it'll recognize that the thing, oh, and if you plug it in backwards as well, which it just did, it will disconnect because you're shorting some pins. So make sure you have pin one properly placed in the chip socket. Uh, and then your Arduino will not make any noises when that happens. Okay, and then make sure you 
go to tools choose the correct board again so at tiny 25 45 85 out of those three we have the 85 and then change your clock rate to be internal one megahertz and and then make sure that your programmer is isp arduino is isp and then uh upload this code to uh your board and it should finish uploading as we see here so now what we want to do is just take the uh, chip itself out of the shield and plug it in to a little breadboard we made earlier uh, as you can see right here plug it in there and then I'm just gonna take the shield out and use the Arduino itself as a power source uh, so I'm just gonna plug in ground into ground and power into 5 volts or BZC into 5 volts and we should get an Arduino or an AT tiny blinking LED at 1 Hertz as we have programmed so that's a proof of concept and if you've gotten this far you're done <laughs>